YouTube, all back to normal, back from US of A, uh, and I'm not doing a video on the corker yet. This is um, a, oh, it's kind of this teapot, the musical teapot. Um, this is a Hotone Thunder Bass Nano Legacy amp, um, which you picked up over there. The plan was with this teapot, it was going to turn it into an amp of some sort, so kind of have. I'll show you that once I've played it a little bit. So I think it's 5 watt, I've got it plugged into my Trace Elliot 3x12 there, um, using the wee, the wee red bass. So it does sound like a bass amp. Currently I've got the gain at about half. It's got a three band EQ and I'll put the, the volume on full band to it goes to with the gain at about half. This is meant to meant to sound like an Ampeg SVT. You hear it's getting a little bit distorted already. I should really be running it through one of the 1x15s that you do it to an actual uh, bass amp would probably make a difference. We'll find out what happens later on. Um, this is to sit on top of Jen's uh, WEM 4x10. Be a, a good, uh, be a great Sabbath sound clean bass, which let's be honest I don't want anyway, but <laughs> to be fair it is actually going too loud. <laughs> for really sitting in the house. Um I don't think you're gonna be gigging it. Maybe the best bass to be using this with is not the wee red bass, which is like a sort of powerful, muddy little weapon. <laughs> So basically, if you run it at sort of, just turn the gain down a wee bit. I mean, that's that's not bad clean. It is only five watts after all, but but a very pleasant sound. Again, I'm playing it through a guitar cap, three three twelve inch speakers. Ideally, sticking through a one by fifteen would probably be pretty pretty nice. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so I'll, I'll show you the actual amp now. Um, uh, so, it is, actually it doesn't actually have to be, does it? I can just um, disconnect that, disconnect that, disconnect that. Basically all I've done with this teapot is I've stuck it on, the, on this wee, on this, these couple of bits of wood. So there's the amp. Um, as you can see, it's not very big. What's a, what's a, there's a, a lighter for size. Um, so super micro. I think you, people run these on. Um, you can almost have this on your on your pedal board as a sort of gain stage. It's got a. So as I said, it's got bass, middle, treble, gain, and volume. An on switch on the back. It's got a line out. Well, a line out could be quite handy actually. I use it as a kind of like a pedal, um, and an effects loop, and an auxiliary in so you can stick your phone into it. Yeah. So the plan here with this. Uh, <laughs> This teapot was gen painted. Um, I've, 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 made, I've managed to make a mess of it somehow. Uh, this cable wasn't working. I think I've burst the cable. But uh, the plan here was <laughs> this goes into the amp, the speaker cabinet, and then there's a a cable here. One of which I've, I think I've pulled one of the cables off. And it just goes in like so. But what I'm thinking was I'm going to put a, a wee handle on it there, so you can basically like get some sort of knob handle when you've got. An amp, you can obviously re re retract this, so it's just a pretty cool thing. And then you it's like the, it's the Ampeg flip top, you flip it over like that, bang. Oh, well, there's a you stick that in, that'd be the, the thing. I mean, it sits through this slot here, and it goes on like that. And there's your musical kettle. Um, it's pretty silly, but that's not really. It's, it's all right being silly. Uh, so I, I'm not sure exactly what happened. Um, I think I've um, burst the this jack socket. Actually, I can probably just check this now. See what it's actually I've done because I, I kind of I've got the amp up against the wall, uh, the, the speaker cabinet up against the wall, and I had to kind of wedge this in. So I'd imagine one of these, one of my soldering joints has probably come off because I just wedged it. Not not at that side. Hope oh, I haven't damaged. Well, it, it, basically, I wanted to use a red cable so it matched the. Uh, the snake's tongue. Uh, the original plan was I was going to have two cables coming out the the spout, so it looked like a forked tongue. But um, is it this one here I've burst, or I've snapped the cable in the middle somewhere. I'm not really sure. Oh, I would say that looks all right. I just have a wee look at a wee look into that, see what it is, what I've actually done, and why it's why it's not working. Don't know what that was. Yeah, so. These things, I think it's it's a little bit sixty, seventy quid, something like that. Um, for recording and stuff, be amazing, especially see if you've got like a like a jar amp in the house, and you don't really want a bass amp, but you've got one that you can actually get in at the speaker, something like this on top. I mean, it does sound more like a bass amp because it is a bass amp rather than you know if I was just to play through, you know, stick the bass into the orange or something like that. Um. Which is obviously 30 watt, which is an awful lot more powerful than a V5 watt thing. Also, I'm not sure about the the ohms rating of that cab. On the back of this, it says it takes uh, 4 to 16 ohms. So I think if you put it into a 16 ohm cab, which I think that is, it's much quieter than if you put it into a 4 ohm cab. I should really run it straight into that big Marshall, because I'm pretty sure it's 4 ohm. Um, I think you'd get an awful lot more oomph out of it uh, before it starts. But these are things I can find out later. Um, yeah, so that was what I did this morning. I'm still kind of a wee bit messed up from being away, uh, and sometimes sometimes these sort of things just sound like they're fun. Obviously, this isn't finished. I'll get Jenna still got got to paint it. And I'm going to put like a some sort of knob or a handle on there. Basically, it just I didn't want to destroy the, the amp, so it's just held on with two tie wraps um, and three bits of MDF on the top. Um, yeah, so there we go. The whole tone Thunder Bass. Pretty cool. Um, I, I managed to. Uh, I just had to put another plug on it. The cable's not really long for it, which I think quite annoying. It's like it's only. Obviously, we've lost two inches because I cut off the American plug. I did check to see that it said two hundred forty volts on this, but that to me is not quite. Well, it's probably just going to make it onto Jen's cabinet. Jen's cabinet's probably about that height, so it's probably just, just going to make it. But it might just be a case of having like an extension, lead. Somewhere, I mean, I think you can probably, probably just buy an extension for the V3, three prong thing. 
Um, it was even the right coloured wires inside, you know, uh, green and yellow, and then brown and red. Which brown, because you shit it goes to the fuse if you're meant to do a plug. A UK plug, that is. Um, yeah, so, fun, fun, fun. Rock on. I'll probably just do another video. I'm kind of dying to play the corker. Uh, it, it's still it's still settling in. Um, I've not actually tried playing it today, but I know I, I, I guess I'm going to have to take the neck off. And then I'm going to have to look at that switch and see if I can make it do what I want it to do so it makes sense. I was playing it a bit last night um, on the live stream. Not much, though. Um, as usual, it's like when you start drinking and playing the guitar, if you can, if you're playing the guitar for a while and then you start drinking but you keep playing, you can still play. If you do what I did, play the guitar for 10 minutes, then start bucking, and then an hour later try and play something, you're absolutely rubbish. So that's just a little do that. You know, I always remember that going into the studio with my pals. If, if when, when someone turned up drunk, it was never me, turned up drunk, they were just crap and unplayable, whereas everyone else would turn up and then play for half an hour at the first break you would spark my bucky and then because you've been playing for half an hour and you continued to play you were still able to do it but you can't just come in drunk it doesn't work rock on